zainteresowania broni skalarnej w Iraku. Oh, it's a scalar wave howitzer. Da też. The foremost expert on the scalar wave howitzer is Thomas Bairn, uh, Bairden, uh, who uh, has this to say about uh, the exothermic mode of a Tesla howitzer. Uh, in what is called an exothermic mode, the howitzers can cause a blast of heat at the interference zone, an explosion of near nuclear proportions. It could topple buildings and cause other destruction, or it could be set wide and heat the atmosphere in that region or could be set to simply destroy oh. all electronics in that interference target zone or to destroy the hubs of the electric power grids of a very wide area. Although it seems unbelievable, the actual energy of the blast is not traveling through space to hit the target, but actually being made to emerge from the local vacuum in the interference zone. Uh, that last little bit uh, it seems to me is disinformation as what is observed in that video from Iraq of a U.S. soldier uh, using apparently a Tesla howitzer on a mosque. Mm -hmm. uh, it shows the energy travel from the howitzer to the mosque. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a blue glow uh, before then the mosque is destroyed. Um, oh, I can now show you what the video is that I'm talking about. Uh, I have been going through my, uh, I have been going through my advanced weapons uh, playlist on mm -hmm. YouTube, which is available on my channel. And it had occurred to me that this video was not in there, and this is one of the most advanced weapons of all time. And so I figured. I should almost definitely make sure that I get it in there. And so I went looking the what on the other one. Well, I don't know. I could not find it. 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 I you cannot click within the timeline of the video to rewind it to just be uh, just beyond where the blue wave. To tak bez końca będzie, bo ci 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 no i to i bez końca. To będzie. I wiecie lepiej na potem. From the soldier's position to to the mosque, he yelled "fire in the hole," which is to say uh, he was aware that there was an explosion about to occur. Now notice that all the dust jumps off of this building. It so shakes the ground that it's all the way down the street that that the the dust jumps it up into the air. So there is essentially a mini earthquake that occurs all the way down the street. This is apparently a uh, this is apparently a portable version of this weapon. And uh, to my understanding, there are uh, other versions of this weapon 
uh, you know, scalar wave uh, interferon, uh, I don't know, whatever they want to call it. Um, I, know, I guess HARP is based on this stuff, which uh, essentially they just use, um, use electromagnetics to create waves in the air, and uh, they are able to cause earthquakes with this technology. Uh, they're able to affect weather patterns. Um, uh, they could uh, either heat or cool an area. They can cause uh, there to be um, you know, cloudiness or rain uh, based on yes, yes, yes. You know, sending energy to the uh, moisture out of the air. And uh, obviously uh, the destructive potential of this weapon is huge and it's definitely something that people should be aware of that you know, there are certain obviously uh, hugely psychotic minds that are wielding these weapons and uh, controlling warfare globally. Um, uh, they, they're able to uh, cause, you know, earthquakes, uh, volcanic activity, stuff like this, shooting uh, energy into the, uh, the calderas of volcanoes. So uh, this is uh, the technology people should be aware of. So I'm going to go ahead and post it to the advanced weapons playlist on YouTube. Ty masz y, przykład zastosowania y, ruskiej broni do wysadzenia najbardziej tajnej instalacji Wako w Teksasie. Texas, Texas, Texas. Zobaczymy eksplozję, jak Rosjanie wysadzili fabrykę części zamiennych dla ludzi. I po co ta litka chodziła do tego meczetu, skoro oni tu wysadzają? I to Rosjanie mogą nawet zdalnie wysadzić. No to wiadomo. I wicerenca potem będzie. I po co to robić? Oj. I widzicie, że jest. To jest ta historia e, wysadzenia jakiegoś tam. No, no, no. Celowali komicerami, czy pod grzebaczami elektronicznymi. No. 
There's been some, some uh, unfortunate reporting talking about that if tear gas were utilized, it would deprive the children of oxygen and it perhaps could be fatal. What they were describing is not the type of tear gas that we were that we are using. We're using a non-pyrotechnic type tear gas, which does not deprive them of oxygen. So it is not a lethal type gas. Okay. This is the U.S. military Mark 651 CS projectile bomb recovered in the aftermath of the Mount Carmel fire. It is pyrotechnic and has a burning time of 25 to 30 seconds. It generates a distinctive cloud of white smoke. I am very, very troubled by the information I received this week suggesting that pyrotechnic devices may have been used in the early morning hours on April the 19th, 1993 at Waco. At this time, all available indications are that the devices were not directed at the main room compound, were discharged several hours before the fire started, and were not the cause of the fire. Mm-hmm. In the fall of 1998, unprecedented access to the Waco evidence lockers was granted. The pyrotechnic projectiles identified in the crime scene photos were missing from the evidence boxes. However, two additional 40-millimeter munitions were found. These devices are identified by the name of 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 już teraz jeszcze trochę zaruszenie palcem, to będzie trzeba wszystko za to płacić, bo to są patki, są porozumienia i takie zabawy dziecięce, to wiesz, dużo kosztować będą. Tak, tak, on zauważył, jak on baret nie co jest, to tak nie mówi zauważyć. Same kobiety. Never could have done it. Tak, proszę, proszę. 
tajnym zakonie proboszkowskim. 